Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome again to our channel. Make sure to subscribe if you are new here and press the bell icon to get notified for our future videos. Now, thinking about the hardest thing on this planet, you probably say it's diamond. But in terms of present availability, diamond is the most hardest substance, right? No, it's not. Some say the woodside boron nitride is hardest in terms of its complex structure which makes it stronger than diamond. It is formed during volcanic eruption and simulation has shown that it can survive 18% more stress if compared to diamond. Oh wait, stop right there. There is one more material that can survive more stress which has superior mechanical properties and the name of that substance is Lonsdalite. It is the most rare material ever accessible to scientists and is found naturally when meteorites containing mainly graphite fall on the earth and hit the surface. Now we know that most of the stronger substances are made up of carbon atoms, for example diamond, and Lonsdalite is one of them because it contains most of the graphite. But the arrangement of these carbon atoms are different from diamond. The mineral is brownish yellow in color and is translucent, means light will pass through it but is not transparent. The great heat and stress of the impact of meteorites transform the graphite into diamond, but it acquires the graphite's hexagonal crystal lattice, means it has hexagonal structure. And talking about stress, Lonsdalite can survive 58% higher stress as compared to diamond which makes this substance hardest and strongest material known on the earth. The other reference name used for Lonsdalite is called Hexagonal Diamond and we can probably say that it is Diamond Close Cousin. Talking about it, Lonsdalite was first identified in 1967 from the Kenyan Diablo meteorite, where it occurs as microscopic crystal associated with the diamond. Nevertheless, the scientists from the Australian National University have made a diamond that is even more resistant than a real diamond, and they named it Lonsdalite. It is present naturally in very small form which can be wasted for research purposes. So it is synthesized in laboratories by heating and compressing graphite by high and stable pressure. Lonsdalite is named after the famous British female crystallographer Kathleen Lonsdale, who proved benzene ring is flat by using X-ray diffraction. As referenced by scientists, graphene is the strongest substance ever known to man. One atom thick seed of graphene is 200 times stronger than steel, and graphene is one atomic layer of graphite arranged in a hexagonal lattice. And also, Lonsdalite contains numerous graphite minerals, so think about it, how much stronger the Lonsdalite is. It has been recently claimed that Lonsdalite does not exist as a well-defined material but is instead defective cubic diamond formed under high pressure. It was also shown that hexagonal diamond can be obtained from the cubic diamond. Hexagonal diamond was observed to grow when uniaxial pressure was applied to liquid carbon during its solidification. Sometimes Lonsdalite is less stable than diamond due to solidification, which makes property of diamond more harder than Lonsdalite. According to Australian National University, the hexagonal structure of these diamonds atom make it much harder than regular diamonds which have a cubic structure. We have been able to make it at the nanoscale and this is exciting because often with these materials, smaller is stronger. As stated by physics.org, Dr. Bradby from the ANU and her research team made the Lonsdalite in a diamond form, forged at 400 degrees Celsius, halving the temperature at which it can be formed in laboratory. With the evolution of technology by introducing nanotechnology, the classification of current mineral which is of course Lonsdalite will make significant changes in the coming future. Still it is less found in nature, 
but it is formed slowly in laboratories which can be used to cut ultra solid materials with no efforts with that being said thanks for watching if you like our video give the thumbs up consider subscribing and see you next time